Hello Pisces and welcome to your July 2022 video. So Pisces, this energy for you, the sun and Mercury are together on the 6th and this will be happening for you in your 5th house. This is about children, right? This is a beautiful energy because you were thinking about children, especially younger people if you don't have kids. So your connection to younger people so is where younger people might just pop up into your life when you have an interesting conversation and offer words of wisdom. But the fifth house rules over children. Um, if you are looking to conceive or connect in that way, that is also a possibility there with the fifth house. The fifth house also involves love and romance. So great for those energies, great for creativity. If you're an entrepreneur, great for projects, great for hobbies. Hobbies are what connect us to our inner child. So you'll be thinking a lot about your creativity, about your hobbies, about if you're an entrepreneur, what projects you can use to utilize and be creative with it. And romance invites romance for sure into your life where you are feeling like having fun. Think of the fifth house as the fun house where we have fun and we just want to feel lighthearted. So that's the energy. And that can happen through either connecting with children, connecting with your own children, or just having fun within your life that feeds your inner child, invoking creativity and invoking romance. This can even bring romance to you. On the sixth, we have Mars joining Uranus too in the third house. Communication and networking. So here you want to take charge with how you are networking. And you might even want to try in an unconventional way connections to others this is about you know even siblings so it can be siblings neighbors friends even but it's all about the communication and you might want to initiate it and your is telling you to do it in a different way or you might even have new people come into your lives that are communicating different things to you great for learning if you want to learn anything that is different go for it take action upon it be aware of your communication that is not coming across aggressive because sometimes mars can you know it's a god of war can make us slightly aggressive in how we communicate and bring our words across right especially in that house and uranus makes it a bit more impulsive so make sure what you're saying is not impulsive right you don't want to create any conflict but you can utilize this energy for taking charge in what you want to learn taking charge on your connections to others communicating about your passions communicating about what motivates you and connecting to others that motivate you in what they're communicating to so no one that's putting you down and telling you sparkle here we're looking for that upbeat kind of energy okay pisces full moon in the 11th house this is where you're letting go of your communities are no longer working for you your social groups your team so if you're working in a group colleagues you might be like mm, maybe i need to make some changes i'm out of this group maybe i need to try for something different the full moon highlights the connection we have to others especially in a community setting and we can even think of families as communities we can think of social friendship groups as communities we can think of a book club as a community uh, um, an organization you want to join as a community so we are talking about those social groups where there's communication moving through and back and forth and so forth you are now thinking what do i need to let go of what do i need to release because i want to connect to like-minded individuals that feel on the same vibration and frequency and energy and flow and vibe with me and what is no longer vibing for me, I need to let go of. This is where something can, can happen in a friendship group too, or in a social situation where you're like, uh uh, I don't think this is working for me going forward. And you're closing those chapters and seeing what you truly want. On the 18th, we have Venus in the fifth house. Once again, great for romance, great for creativity, great for connection to children, great for connection to the youth. This is really invoking that creative energy if you're an entrepreneur creative projects putting all your energy into it will be very rewarding any creativity any fun anything that makes you feel alive and passionate venus is about what we love in the fifth house it's all about okay i love this and what how can i make this a creative hobby or something that i truly enjoy you are feeding that inner child you're invoking romance it's a good month for romance if you're single or in an existing relationship because you are invoking that loving energy with Venus into your romantic settings. 
on the 20th mercury moves into the sixth on the 23rd the sun moves into the sixth and the new moon on the 28th will be happening in the sixth house the sixth house work health and routine make sure you are taking care of your health mercury will have you thinking a lot about your health your diet what you're eating your physical body your mental body what are you thinking what are you watching emotionally what are your emotional interactions with others and how is it weighing on you the sixth house is all about health and it's our physical health that helps us take care of our day-to-day -day routine right so you'll be more aware of these things and what habits you need to kick to the side and what you need to bring into your life in order for you to take care of your routine in order to make you more efficient in the work that you do it will be a good time for looking or getting opportunities when it comes to physical work or work life right and it'll be great for any ideas that you have so be thinking about that the new moon offers a new beginning making those changes to your physical health making those changes to your routine putting in the energy so that you can be effective in your work life and welcome new opportunities to you so think about that the sixth house also is about how we can be of service to others this is where you might say words with mercury there that is of service to someone you can give good advice the words that you say might have a positive impact on someone right and the sun like i said gives you the opportunity to also be there for someone to be of service that's the six hours to be of service our work health and routine to make sure we're taking care of ourselves so that we are more efficient so that we can do the work that we need to do because the sixth house rules our work life the routine of it and what we need to put in and what we need to take out in order to make ourselves more efficient and that offers more opportunities to us and it can bring new opportunities too thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe my website is linked down below if you like a reading as well as a link for appreciation of these videos